Welcome to Visual Ant Keeping, where we show you ant keeping from up close. Here, you can see our queen, who we call Queen Mother, laying a special egg. The queen isn't called Queen Mother and the egg isn't called special without reason. Her eggs have developed into pupae from which many queens have hatched. Almost every day. You can tell this queen was born today by her wings that are still whitish transparent. As time passes they will darken. The first time a queen was born we thought it would never happen again. But as time passed, more queens were born, and sometimes even to a day. The problem with young queens is that they are ridiculously ferocious eaters, which they do to prepare for the moment they leave the nest to found their own colony. As a preparation, they want to have all the reserves they can get. Right now, you are looking at five queens and one worker feasting together on a not fully developed unborn sister, whose pupa was open because she died or because they felt the need for the proteins she was holding. Looking at the enthusiasm, these are nutritious proteins that can't be wasted. Besides young queens eating much more than the average worker, they also tend to challenge the queen mother from time to time for her position. And on top of that, they often steal the food from the larvae. In large numbers, the behavior of these young queens could cause problems for the future development of the colony. The colony has a creative solution for these problems. They take off the wings of selected young queens, which results in different behavior. Those that have their wings taken off seem to take on worker-like tasks and don't challenge the queen anymore. Although it seemed cool to have queens as workers, I decided to separate a few young queens and put them together in pairs of two because I have a theory. Putting together a queen with her wings taken off with one that still has her wings should result in one taking care of the other. The queen with wings should lay unfertilized eggs, from which males should hatch for her to mate with. After which, she should be able to lay fertilized eggs and start a real colony. Although it's just a theory, we will do our utmost best to make it succeed. And as you can see the first few eggs have been laid. Follow Visual Ant Keeping to stay updated.